Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson 15. And this is an exciting lesson, to be honest, because uh, students are going to still be adding a pair of two-digit numbers. Uh, and again, we're going to have some regrouping. But what's really kind of cool about this lesson is that we're getting really close to that standard algorithm. We're still going to be drawing pictures, so it won't be exactly the standard algorithm, but you're going to see um, a definite move towards that standard algorithm. We're going to be using quick tens as our drawings. So uh, let's get started. So teachers and parents, parents, you definitely probably don't know what the heck a quick 10 is because that's a, it's kind of a, a Eureka math specific language. So uh, let's, let's do 48 plus 36. So let's zoom in here. Now 48 plus 36, what we're going to do with 48 plus 36 is we're going to record 48 and 48 is going to be recorded as 10, 20, 30, 40. And then let's record those eight. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to record 36. So 36 is going to look like 10, 20, 30, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. <clears throat> so now let's, let's add. Okay. So the idea is when we're adding, we want to, uh, we want to make a 10. All right, so we see that we've got eight up here, and we need how many more? Well, we need two more. So it doesn't matter which two. So let's do eight, nine, ten. So we will, let's circle eight, and then these two. So I've created a ten right here. So these guys equal a ten. So now the idea is, well, how many tens do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus this extra one is eight. So we have eight tens. And then we have four little ones left over, so we have 84. And for the students who kind of need that middle step, you can say, well, um, we have eight tens and four ones, so all together we have 84. Or eight tens and four ones gives us 84. So you may need to scaffold a little bit with a little explanation over here, but we do want our students to see that we've got seven tens here plus one more ten, so that's 80 plus four more is 84. Um, so we do want our students to be doing a little bit of the math in their head. So let's do 57 plus 39. So 57 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we're going to have five tens, seven ones, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you'll notice I, I'm putting them in five groups. And I'm definitely sort of recreating um, like the 10 frame. All right. Now I could have stacked them up and down, uh, but I'm choosing to do it this way primarily because the example is. Um, doing it in the five groups way as well. And later, uh, when we start to write these in a vertical fashion, it's starting to mimic a 10. And I think that'll be a strategic thing that happens down the road. Uh, but right now, let's just kind of make it look like a, a, a 10 frame. So now to model 39, we're going to have three tens and nine ones. All right, and now we're going to add. So what do we want to do? Well, let's make a 10. And since we already have 9 right here, let's just grab one more from up here. Now we have a 10. Here is our 10. And so how many 10s do we have? Well, we used to have 8, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 10s plus this one is 9 10s. So we have nine tens, and I'll put it underneath the tens. See how I'm doing that? So we have nine tens, and how many ones do we have? Well, we have these six over here. So we have nine tens and six ones, which gives us 96. Now remember, parents and teachers, if your, your kids need some scaffolding, you're certainly welcome to write nine tens 
and six ones start there. Change this to 90 plus 6, which makes this 96. You may not need all that scaffolding, but just heads up, we don't want students to just blindly following some sort of rule because they don't actually understand the numbers that are going on in the background, that number sense. So avoid just memorization and really make sure students understand what's going on with this quick 10. Now, parents and teachers, are you starting to see how this is? we're stacking up the tens on top of the tens, the ones on top of the ones, and it's starting to look a lot like that standard algorithm. So we're going to get there, but we're only going to do it uh, at a, following all the developmental milestones so that when students start using the standard algorithm, it's because they understand what's going on rather than because they're just following a rule. This is just more of the same, just more practice of the same kind of strategy. We do want our students drawing the quick tens. So in this case, 59 plus 25, we're going to begin by modeling 59. One, two, three, four, five tens, and nine ones, and then two tens, and five ones. And we're going to add those together. Now, here's a kind of a cool thing. Um, some students might see that 5 and 5 is 10. So some students may want to do their grouping like this and grab these 10 like that. So now we have 7 10s over here plus an extra 10. So we now have 8 10s plus we have these 4 1s left over. So we have 84. So parents and teachers, uh, so the fun in this is letting our students kind of see the numbers in a way that makes it easy for them to find 10. Let's see, one more example. Oh, let's do 78 plus 14. So 78, we're going to have seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens, eight ones. And we'll have one ten plus four ones, and we're going to add those together. So we know we have eight tens over here because we have seven plus one, but we've got another ten over here. So let's see, we've got eight, and we need just two more ones. So there's our ten right there. There's an extra ten right there. So we now have. 8 tens plus an extra 10, so we now have 9 tens plus these two extra ones, so we end up with 92. So parents and teachers, at this point, it, we're not really it, uh, dealing with efficiency at this point because it would be a lot more efficient just to, just to stack up our numbers, 78 plus 14, and add them. Uh, we get that. But the idea is we want... Um, students to understand the number sense that's going on when they eventually move to this standard algorithm. And they will indeed get there, um, but at this point we want to develop that number sense. And that wraps up a fun one. That was first grade module 6 lesson 15. Students were adding two-digit numbers, but this time we're drawing pictures and it's getting a lot, starting to look a lot like that standard algorithm. Hey, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel.